<laughs> SpongeBob. SpongeBob. That's really loud. <laughs> now recording. I was like, oh man. I was like, I still think you know, Argo is the true champion. He won everything. <laughs> <laughs> he won my heart. He won for his my weapon. respect. He, he won, won the, the waifu. He won <laughs> everything. <laughs> oh, by the way, I ordered me a couple more Gundams now because of that. <laughs> they don't have much for fucking uh, Bolt Gundam, man. Dudes, the chat, everybody wants them. Okay, we are recording. Uh, it's 2.18. I've been recording since 2.17, so about a minute in. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's use Leopold for today's VTT. What are you even using? Oh, I, ju I just use random people. Oh. <laughs> I think Leopold uh, died. Yeah. Uh, before I've used Gabe, I've used... Mike, I've used you. Now I'm using Leopold. Okay. So. Going off the of last session, you guys stopped off as you guys opened the secret door down into a hidden um, hidden hallway from this uh, curio shop. Uh, Cyrus picked up a blunderbuss as well as a bow. What do you want to do with those things? I'm going to keep them on me for right now. Okay. Are you going to equip them at all? Uh, no, nah, I'll just have them on me. Okay. I, st so I still have my normal stuff. All right. So you, you, uh, you can go ahead and enter at your leisure. Hold up. I need, to on I, I need to pull up a D&D &D real quick. Okay. Uh, for some reason, my dumbass clicked on YouTube. I mean, you could watch YouTube, but it's not going to help your session very much. It's not. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay. I mean, it's debatable. Character. Come on, come on, load my characters. Thank you. It's really lagging on me today. No, no. Alright, there we go. I got my character sheet up. Okay. Well, it looks like we're walking in. Yeah. Alright. I need... It, as you step in, it is completely dark in here. I need both of you to roll me, roll me perception checks. Because I'm good at those for some fucking reason. Can I cast light? Oh yeah, I can do that too. Um, roll perception first, please. Damn it. Uh, DJ, roll for me real quick. Sure. Give me I'm two seconds. Problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really? No problem. Yeah, I don't see shit. I'm blind. I'm going to open up your, uh, page. Go to your perception. Rolling perception. You got a plus one. You rolled a 19. All right. So, actually, you know what? For something that's about to happen, that's actually enough for you, Cyrus. Um, Zest, as you step into the darkness and you prepare to cast the light spell, you hear a click. Cyrus, you Sounds also right. hear this click. Normally, if it was anything else, you probably would have just dismissed it. However, your knowledge of expertise in firearms make you recognize that click as a um, as a safety being flicked off of a weapon. What do you two do? Uh, all, all happens is just a click? You just hear a click. But nothing else transpired. Not so yet. We're in a hot, this, we're is in a hallway, right? this is within seconds. Like I say, you guys enter, you hear a click, what do you do? Am I in front or is a uh, Zest in front? Up to you. I, I, I would assume I was in the front. Okay. I grab his shoulders and pull him down. Okay. 
Roll dexterity saving throw. With advantage. Wow, you couldn't give me that 20 game? We get advantage, so. And it, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, all right. So I'm going to roll the hit. You know what? Let me let me get some of these fucking rolls out, because this is bullshit. Yeah, maybe a good idea. Oh, crap. I don't have a, a thing. So I'm just going to roll over here. I'm going to roll the hit. Uh, let's see. Copy. I just want to open you. Uh, All right. Oh, shit. Okay. Gabe, mute yourself, buddy. Um, okay. Boom. A flash of the muzzle as someone who is sitting in the darkness fires. And strikes uh, Zest because he was technically up front, dealing oof, dealing uh, well, well, 18, well, well, well. No, uh, eighteen points of damage as the musket ball pierces into your shoulder as you're being jerked down and out the other side. <sighs> Lucky. And I am going to reveal the scene. Okay, cool. And I can see where we're at. <laughs> and I should also probably put the two of you on the scene. Let me just uh, share the... Uh... The freaking musket? I mean, he's going to take a time reloading that shit. <laughs> Is this one? You got to put the gunpowder. No, I and want this put one. The thing, put the wad. You know, put the <laughs> down. <laughs> Hold on, I'll uh, be with you guys momentarily. <laughs> uh, hold on a second. Oh, <clears throat> wait. Let me, bam. That's what I want. Uh, Cyrus. Ooh, got a little uh, laggy there. And Zest. I'll put Zest right here. Uh, you see as the as the candle ignites from some sort of source of magic, a massive hippo-like creature sitting on a chair slowly stands. Good show. As he as he quickly uh, begins to reload his weapon. But not good enough. Roll initiative. Die. Wow, you really just like giving me low numbers today, don't you? Apparently. This is going to be one of those days for me. Nothing's going to go my way. <laughs> okay. Save. Well, I'm moment, just putting it together, run the encounter. You have a initiative of 21 and a initiative of 8. Yeah, I'm just you roll to... like a 2. <laughs> All right. Zest, you are first up on the uh, initiative order. You have a hole in your shoulder as uh, at from, from where the musket uh, <coughs> blew, uh, blew out of. Uh, what are you doing? Are those supposed to roll a dexterity? No, no. Uh, Cyrus, because uh, you recognized the sound, was rolling to, to dodge for both of you. And the dice said, fuck you to both. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. How far is he? Close uh, enough, I he's believe. Like right, he's like right in front of us. <laughs> yeah, he is uh, 10 feet away. And uh, there is a doorway 
right there. This seems to be a guard. Ooh, bonus action. Bonus action, okay. Hunter's mock. Who do you think Hunter's you are, me? Yes. Mark, okay. Ooh. Uh condition marked. Uh I'll just do red, I guess. Alright. He's been Hunter's marked. Then I shall open fire with the masterpiece of Craig. Go for it. Roll it. Thirteen. Uh, he whips it. This he whips it. The butt end of his uh, musket around, snap, uh, hitting the uh, hitting the bolt out of the air as he turns and aims the musket right back at you. <laughs> Good show, old boy. I shall fire it. All right, go ahead. So you're not redneck anymore? What, what, are, <laughs> what are the girls? 18. That will hit. Eleven damage. Okay. And where's Hunter's? Hey, where'd you get those dice? Plus whatever Hunter Mark is. Ooh. Six. Max damage. Nice. Okay. Hey, Brian, where'd you get those, those dice from? Oh yeah, those are cool. Oh, that's um, that's a new dice set. No, these are old. Are they? Yeah. Okay, well, they look cool. I think they were free at one point. Damn no? It. Don't you all? No? I don't Probably. I don't think so. All right, is that your turn? Uh, yeah. Good spot, good spot. Uh, Cyrus, it's your turn. Uh, I shall cast Bane. Bane. That's a wisdom. That's a saving throw. Yes. Uh, what's the saving throw for? For me, fourteen. Uh, I meant the uh, strength dex. Oh. oh. Uh, fuck. Where is that at? Wisdom, intelligence, charisma. I think it was wisdom, if I remember. Charisma. Charisma, okay. Roland. That will be an eight. So he is now banged. Banged. All right, he's banged. There's a bonus act. Let's see, hold up. Where is it? Where's my hunter's mark? No, I stole it. Did you? No. <laughs> I can't. Ca I can't cast hunter's mark. Why not? It's concentration. concentration. Uh, yeah, that's true. So, let's see. What else can I use as a bonus action? You know what? I could probably just heal uh, Zest as a fucking bonus action. Might be not, might not be a bad idea. Let's see. Yeah, I'll cast Healing Word as a bonus. Cool. Heal the word. Let's see. Cast, and you get seven points back. Die. Oops. Wrong button. There we go. All right. Is that your turn? Uh, fortunately, yes. All right. It is now the the uh, person's turn. Uh, oh, fucking magic! <laughs> he uh, whips up his uh, musket one more time and pauses. Be uh, no, that's not a good idea. Whips up. Yeah, he's going to use his musket and he's going to aim it right back at uh, you. Wow. Okay. Does. 23 that hits 
Nah, it's a bit barely hits, you know. And Wait, who are you aiming at? Me or him? Me. Uh, sorry, I am aiming at uh, Zest. Oh, okay. Uh, taking nine points of piercing damage. Hey, man, I just got those. And then he whips <laughs> up his uh, flintlock pistol, clicks it, bam! At, uh, at you, Cyrus. And wow, what are these rolls? DJ, you need to stop, man. I do, because that's my second crit in three rolls. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, you know, because I've just been getting single digits the entire time. And so, they stole your rolls. You, uh, Pretty much. You take 22 points of damage from that pistol shot. That's great. Fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, old chaps. Seems Wait, like... did you use the uh, the Bane? Oh, no, I didn't. Granted, the crit, crit doesn't matter. And No, I'm talking about for a, a Zest. See if that one hit him. Uh, I'll do the Bane, but I'm pretty sure it'll hit anyway since I rolled a 19. With a 1, it's a 22 that still hits. Got it. Um, sorry, old chap. Oh, uh, uh, Hunter's Mark and Bane, I need you to both roll, um, Constitution saving throws to maintain, see if you maintain concentration. Wow. Yeah, no, this game is just not with me today. Uh, Zess, you do maintain your Hunter's Mark, however, the Bane does fall off. Uh, that is... Going to be the gifts, the uh, creature's turn. It is now Zess's turn. This is this is gonna be one. I told you this is gonna be one of those fights for me. It's just like nah, three, four, three, two, four. Here's a one. I'm gonna shoot him in the stupid face. Okay, go for it. <laughs> That'll hit. Roll damage. Max damage. Okay, that's good. And Hunter's Mark, where is it? Where'd you go? Oh, there it is. Bye. And another three points. Okay, it is. Shoot it's looking bloody. Again. It's looking bloody. He's like, Ugh, as he breaks off the bolt, and uh, and sh tries to shake it off. But all right, roll damage. Roll, roll the hit. Roll the hit. Not shaking this off. That hits. Roll damage. Wow. What? Okay. It uh that that's that fourth bolt hits it in in its knee and he just goes down. He's just holding himself up with the uh, with his musket now and he's breathing heavily. God, and you know what? I'm not going. to hold on. You done? Roll. You can roll persuasion. All right. Let's get this going. 14. It'd be a... Uh... A fucking stain on my honor and on my company to give up now. <laughs> he tries to stand up, but he just goes back down to one knee. Is that your turn? Yeah. Um, sounds like he kind of wants to continue, and I don't want to, but he's not going to give me that option. So, bonus action. Shoot him again. All right, roll hit, roll hit. 
<laughs> that you are almost sure that w that hits, but he just swings his musket down, which causes him to not only deflect it, but he goes down to his hand as he slowly pushes himself back up. He's bleeding heavily now from his injuries, but he's standing and he's holding his musket at the ready. Yeah, but for, for all attacks for me. All right, uh, Cyrus, it's your turn. Put him in a body bag. You I'm, just seeing, hold up. I'm not dead. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading. <laughs> I, I was trying to fucking, where is it at? Was it this one? Oh, that's psychic damage. Okay. No, I'm just going to go ahead and shoot him myself. Sure. Let's see. We'll do... I'll shoot him with Bad Omen first. Okay. Work with me this time, Dice. Okay, that's decent. And that'll hit. Roll damage. You fire and you blow a hole in him as he just slams against the back wall and he's just he's barely hanging on his weapons down to the side. He's still standing, but just all right. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot him again. All right, for my second attack. Mm -hmm. I'm shooting a bad omen again. Okay. Oops. Forgot to uh, mute that. <laughs> um, you fire just as he slumps down to the ground. The bullet whizzing through right past his ear, but missing. Bonus action. I'll shoot him again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fire away. Uh, the dice are not working. Well, that's better. That'll hit. Roll damage. Or should I say, how do you want to do this? Nah, no. just fucking blow his fucking head off. I don't even care. All right. Uh, you <laughs> pop, you fire away. And, <laughs> and where his head the was, there is a, um, there is a gory groove running from his snout to the back of his skull. Where his head used to be. No combat has ended. <clears throat> For now. For the moment. All right. Note to self. Look, I'm a little bit salty on these dice rolls. In. <laughs> I'm a little salty on these dice rolls, all right? <laughs> So, uh, um, you get like a key or something on them? Uh, roll investigation. <laughs> Seven. Um, you go through his pockets. He has some coin on him. Um, there is a key ring, but it has like seven different keys on it. Uh, he has a pistol, a long sword, and a musket on him. The musket being what he was using the most. Is it stronger than the one I took? You don't know. It's true, you don't. <laughs> I'll be taking those keys. Okay. I'm not interested in anything else on them. All right. You said there's a door in front of us? Yep, the door would be right here. Did you take the money from him? I just took the keys. I'm taking the money. All right, you take the money. There is uh, 15 gold pieces on him between that's different, that's enough different change and whatnot. But 15. But yeah, there's a is door there a, right there. 
And I assume uh, like a crack underneath the door probably right mm. here by now. Uh, it's pretty well sh- sealed. Um, there is a small gate, a uh, small, uh, what, how do I say it? There's a small, um, peephole that is currently closed in the, up towards the top. There's a handle, there's a handle with a, with a, uh, lock on it though. All right. Well, I'll try some of these keys. See if it opens up. Jingle jangle. Uh, yeah, it takes you a minute, but yeah, the third key down, uh, goes into the, the keyhole perfectly and click. I'm not going to open the door yet. All right. It, no. That's fine. It just unlocks. I will administer some uh, healing. Sure. Cause that was not fun at all. Now you guys know how the enemies feel when uh, when uh, Cyrus goes all out. Look, man, I didn't even do nothing. <laughs> uh, by the way, Cyrus, did you uh, take a look at the uh, body as well? Oh, yeah, I'll take a look at it, see if I can find anything on him. Sure, you can roll an investigation. Wow. It, it just loves giving me sevens today. Apparently, yes. <laughs> it's your lucky day. It's not. <laughs> Seven is not good for me. Um, go to Vegas. <laughs> I will say, fucking right. I will say, besides the coin and the weapons, you do find a frag grenade. Ooh, takey! All right, <laughs> let me uh, just add you a frag grenade to your inventory real quick. Actually, is there a frag grenade available? Hold on, so I need to let me check. There might be a frag grenade available. Yep, there's a grenade fragmentation. You can add that to your inventory. Inventory. It's under a weapon, right? Uh, I think so. Mm. No, excuse me, it's under gear. Gear? Really? Yeah. Huh. Grenade launcher, <laughs> grenade fragmentation. Yeah, grenade, <laughs> grenade fragmentation. launcher. <laughs> Got it. All right, you have it. All right. Yeah. So the door is unlocked. You have a dead. By the way, you now know is a hippo-headed person. Uh, Can I heal myself first before we do this? I, I'm already. I got this. I'm uh, laying the hands upon us both for eight. Which is doubled to sixteen. All right, you both take you both heal sixteen points of healing hands, which you both desperately kind of need. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Now, if you want to top yourself off, by all means, uh, I'm about to. <laughs> <laughs> uh. T- t- I'll do cure wounds. Sure. For six more points. Hey, Got it. That's not bad. All right. So, what are you guys doing? I'm back to where I was earlier. <laughs> I'm going to pull out a coin, like a silver piece. I'm going to crack the door a bit. Mm-hmm. Castle. Is it dark in there? Uh, This area is, well, is dimly lit, but it's lit enough. So if you crack the door, you will see this. Oh, a second. Let me, uh, you would see uh, like this. You would see about that. Maybe, maybe that. Yeah. Either way, pull out that. Silver piece and cast light on it. Sure. And just flick that bad boy into the room. Sure. Not a problem. Uh, 
because now you done made me paranoid. Uh, There's more hippos in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you toss it in, but do how wide open is the door? Is it just a crack, or because you do notice it lights up all the way down, like down to here. You see a little spot over there. How wide is the how wide is the door? It's ten feet of light, dude. I guess it would be if I like cracked in enough. I don't even know how to clean. I guess like a foot open. I guess. Okay, then in that case, you would see from here to here. You do you do notice that there's another door over here as well as doors here and, and a door there. All right, well, I'm just putting my back up against the wall and tell Cyrus. To... Do you want me to make another light and throw it the opposite opposite direction? I was gonna say hang back. I was gonna fling the door open with my back. Yeah, the, oh. the, the only reason you, you don't you don't see it over here over here is because the door is only open so much. No, I'm saying yeah. if he cracks it. Oh, yeah, true. I was like, that's our field of view. Yeah. But if he cracks it open and I'm standing like right by, I guess, the wall, I got to look in that direction. True. I might as well just read all that so you guys can so, see. Back up against the wall. I'm going to be on the, the left side. So I'll, I'll be on the right side. What? Well, it depends on what way the door opens. I'm, I'm assuming it opens. It opens like this. Oh, oh it opens. Inward, not outward. Yes, it opens inward. Or out, outward, not inward. Goddamn. Yeah, I'm going to fling it open. All right, you fling it open? If you okay with that, Cyrus? I mean, I'll just have my guns at the ready, yeah. All right, I'm fling that bad boy open. You fling it open, and you reveal the hallway in its entirely. You see two more doors here and here on top of the door that's here and the top of the door that's here. Oh, man, did we get ourselves into a maze? Um, but there's no one in this hallway. Each of the doors has a has the same is built the same way as this one. There is a peephole and a lock. Shit. All right. Um, I'm gonna take it easy. Go in, check for traps. Okay. Roll. Uh, roll. Uh, Words. Roll <laughs> uh, investigation. Investigation, how, yes. How do I roll words? <laughs> Both of us or just him? Uh, he's the one who's drawing for the investigation uh, for the traps, so just him. Eighteen. Uh you quickly look around. Uh there are no traps in this hallway. All right, I'll say confidently to Cyrus. I think the hallway is good. It's not trapped, <clears throat> but considering there's gunfire, and if there are people down here, they probably heard it. They're more likely ready for anybody who comes through the doors waiting. I mean, obviously, if they had one dude right here. <laughs> Okay, so what do you guys do? I'll walk in. Okay. You walk in. You look around. There are three doors. Oh, four, there's four doors. One out at the very end, and then one here, here, and here. Hmm. I'll go look at the one on the far right. Far right? Okay. Yeah. This door no. is just a solid door. There's no peephole. And that is locked suit. too? It is locked, yes. I'll is, follow. The, is the lock something that I can... Is it like a padlock or is it like a lock that's attached to the door? Or? It's a lock okay. that's attached to the door. It's it's just the same make as this, as locks that, that was on the uh, door that you got you just went through. 
Zest, you got those keys on you? Yeah, I'd follow. See if one of those opens this. We're going to take this one door at a time. Okay. Uh, you walk through. Walk down. Uh, you quickly... It takes you a second, but uh, you realize that, yeah, one of the keys does unlock it. Um, both of you roll perception checks. Ah, uh, guys, another one of those. Come on, single digits. Woohoo! Fuck you. Why do you gotta do this to me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that was close. I'm slowly thinking this game automatically, like the first 10 rolls you do are just gonna be automatic bad rolls. Zess, you're just busy. The jingling of the keys, the turning it, the turning, and like, no, jingling, no. Ah, Cyrus, as that, as the correct key goes in, you hear another click. God damn it. <laughs> what do you do? You, it, it's coming from beyond the door, and it was super subtle. And he, but... he, hasn't, he hasn't heard it yet, right? Or he, no, we haven't he, opened the door yet. He's, 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 uh, Zess is too busy fumbling with, with, with the key ring. He's distracted by the keys and trying to unlock the door. But uh, you hear a, a distinctive click that you I, recognize very well. I let, or uh, I tell Zess is like, hey, I just heard another gun click. Chances are there's another person behind this door. Well, damn. All right. Well, I'm going to put my back up against the wall. I'm going to get away from in front of the door. Like so, here? I guess. As long as I'm not in front of the door. Well, you're no longer in front of the door. Sorry, you're still in front of the door. Am I? I'm against the wall. Well, the door is right here. Like, right Oh, here. is there any way I could go to the side of it? Or, oh, no, I'm just right There's, up against the wall. It's just the corner. You can go here. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll stand right there. Okay. Uh, I'll have my weapons at the ready. Sure. What do you guys do? Do you just wait? So do we take care of this guy or person behind the door? I mean, they already know we're here, so... <laughs> we, we really don't have a choice at this point, do we? Yeah, I'm just going to deal with more people anyway. I'll fling the door open. You fling the door from where you are? Yes. Okay. The door flings open into the hallway and boom! And an explosion of shrapnel crashes into the wall right where you were on the far side, like right here. Like right here. Got it. He's like, shit! And you hear him quickly reloading. What, what do you do? I uh, hit that corner like like this. Yep. Who am I looking at? <laughs> you're in the oh. darkness. We don't know what you're looking at. <laughs> I I'm, I'm right behind him. In the corner. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm revealing it. So give me a second. You see another hippo-headed uh, creature reloading his his weapon. And here goes DJ rolling them nat twenties again. Oh no, he he he's reloading. This this you you guys got the surprise around this time. So what do you guys Fire do? Fling initiative then? <laughs> well, no, this is a uh, surprise round, so you guys can fire or do an action for initiative. Well, since this is in front of me, I'm gonna let him go first. Okay. I'm dropped one knee. All right. Then just shoot with the masterpiece. Go for it. Oh, these damn guns. I see why Cyrus, oh wow. Your masterpiece for the first time misfires. The bolt snapping in place. Maybe it was the masterpiece was just a little bit too tense. Maybe the bolt was, was faulty, but the 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 uh, bolt the crossbow bolt just shattered it, in your hand. Isn't it since it's a prize round, isn't it advantage? Uh, no, not necessarily. Oh, okay. But you guys get a, an action before anything happens. So, Cyrus, it is now your turn for the surprise round. 
Well, I'll go ahead and fire myself. Okay. You know, good old bad omen, right? Bad omen, all right. Oh, wait. I was looking at the wrong one. I was, for some reason, I thought Divinity was the one that had plus eight. Both of them has plus ten. I don't know why that. Yeah, Probably you know up. Probably. I'll go ahead and use bad omen. Sure. First. Wow. Uh, <laughs> wow. There's that. There's that one. Holy fuck, <laughs> dude! You... These dice. You know what? Hold on. Go ahead and do what you're doing, DJ. I'm gonna. These dice are dead to me. Oh, I'm Cyrus, gonna go buy a pair of green you... dice real quick. I'm probably gonna go buy. Hey, wait! Flourishing set. Hey, I do have this. Cool, Cyrus. As you as you pull the trigger. A spike of cold r- r- runs from your hand and up to your arm as if reaching for your your heart. A blackness billows slightly from the barrel, and you feel cold. All right, roll initiative. Oh, that's great. <laughs> My gun's going to kill me. <laughs> My gun's going to kill me. <laughs> Time to use divinity only. <laughs> All right, these dice are way better. <laughs> I like how it sounds like a piece of wood too. They're wooden dice. Yeah, I know, but I was like, I like it sounds like a little bongo. Bongo was playing. It sounds like Donkey Kong. And, uh, little bongo was playing. The Donkey Kong. There go. Bang bang. There go bang. There go Donkey Kong. And the initiative for you is. There go bongo playing. So, 16, okay. All right. Cyrus, you're first up. As a bonus action, I'm going to go ahead and cast Hunter's Mark. Hunter's Mark. Okay. Uh, am, I, am I back to the group? Well, you we, we never yes. were kicked from the group, so I said. Oh, no, we haven't got you guys yet. We're still fighting the, the hippo people. Oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and shoot them again. This time with Divinity. <laughs> because apparently Bad Omen wants to kill me now. Okay. Well, that'll hit. 27. That'll hit. And as you fire with divinity, that icy grip on your arm reaching for your heart sort of like shudders and withdraws back into Bad Omen. I'm going to go ahead and roll my damage. Sure. <laughs> Spooky, yuki, yuki. And then uh, Hunter's Mark is a D6, right? Correct. Plus that, plus five. Plus five, nice, okay. Then as a second attack, I'm gonna have to use the two weapon and use bad omen. <laughs> okay, bad omen <laughs> again. Is. Go ahead and fire. Uh, yep, another one. It does not want to me to fire it. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally gonna kill me. It's gonna, it's gonna kill you. Yeah, the icing just came back. <laughs> it did, but this time you feel your arm reach up and. Turn sideways like a fucking asshole. So, so and, DJ, hmm? uh, question. If I use the two weapon, I have to use the other weapon, right? I can't just use the same one? Uh, you're supposed to use the other weapon. Okay, yeah, so I had no choice. <laughs> uh, as it fires on its own three times. So, that's a 20 to hit. Ooh. Excuse me? 24 to hit. Uh, Mike, can you control your symbiote? Thank you. Apparently damage. not. Uh, roll damage three times for Bad Omen. How are you getting all these high de- rolls, DJ? I can't even get these. <laughs> because it's not you who's firing. It's something else. Eight? Okay. Wow. Twelve? Okay. I don't like this. I don't like where any of this is headed. And eight. Okay. Uh, so, 28? Yep. As boom, 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 three bullets just pierce the, the uh, 
the hippo man and he just slumps forward. Oh, blood. Oh, hit him. Yes. I thought that we, these were coming at me. No. <laughs> I thought they were coming at me. I was like, well, there goes 28. <laughs> I'll no. be a breath. I was like, so who's dying first? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, blood is pouring from the chest of this creature and black mist sucks out quickly replaces the replaces it uh roll me a uh i need to roll a constitution save with it real quick and oh that's a failure the the humanoid hippo man gasps as something is ripped from it and is absorbed into your gun and, this is new and a mark <laughs> appears along appears on the side of it. You have triggered me. Shut <laughs> up, game. <laughs> right. uh, by the way, the the person or the creature just disintegrates into ash. The hell's that beeping noise? That'd be me. My apologies. Uh, so it's just ash now. There's just ash there. Yes. I take it I get some form of damage from this. Um, you do actually. You take ten points of psychic damage. Better than fucking twenty eight. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I go, so did, I just, did I just like zone out and no, something happened? You no, know, you are completely conscious. You, your, your hand went numb as as the as your weapon billowed out black smoke and infused into it as you felt it going against your will, against your any sort of uh, command. Went and fired three times. Hunter's mark that was on him. <laughs> well, if I have to lose my mental my mental stability to fucking do damage like that, so be it. <laughs> you still can't feel your arm. Yeah, <laughs> I can't feel my legs. Yeah. So, um, yeah. What do you do? But I'm still able to hold it. Like, it's... is my arm just, or no, did I no. drop it? You can't feel your your hand. Your hand is gripping Bad Omen. And it's still it. billowing smoke at the moment. Well, maybe not billowing, but there's black smoke wisping off of the weapon. Got it. So if I turn and look at him... Oh, I yeah, no. If... There is a... Um, his his uh, Bad Omen is... Has black smoke wisping out of the barrel and the um and the uh mike help me what's the thing that you put the bullets into the cylinder thank you the cylinder and there's black veins going up his arm uh, we'll, we'll we'll just deal with this later yeah because I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. Sorry, I, I don't feel anything. Let's go. It was not the end of this hallway. <laughs> At the end of the hallway is a trap door. Should we check these other doors? Or do you think this is the correct way to go? Well. Chances are, that probably is the correct way to go. But... It could probably lead us somewhere else with more bad guys to fight. Let's go. To the trap door? <laughs> to, to Shibalba. Thought it yes to the trap door or? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, like, we're not. We got three more shots. Fuck it. Why not? You guys head up to the trap door. Uh, the trap door is locked, this time with a padlock, so you're quickly able to figure out which key goes to the padlock. 
And you open the trap door and it goes down into the sewer. You hear the you hear running water and the smell of fecal matter and <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> It doesn't smell. Pleasant. That was too real. <laughs> that it's sounded a little too me. real. <laughs> I'm practicing. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it is rank. It is running. You hear running water. Well, we close that, or the, I close the squeaking of rats and mice, <laughs> and it's just the sick. Sweet smell of raw sewage just comes. Yeah, why'd you say sweet? Because <laughs> it's, like, it's like when I ripped ass in Garcia's garage and cleared rich. it out. <laughs> that was rich. Dude, that's like when you rip really? ass in general. Every time you fart, I, I swear there's like a gerbil or something that died in your butt and has it's not like been out. <laughs> so, uh, do you guys close the trap door? Oh, I'm cl- I closed it for now. All right, yes. all right. After that gag, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, "Worst comes that, to worst, that, that might be our way out of here." That can't possibly be the correct way to go. Look, man. <laughs> Who knows? It, it might be. You want you want to check the other doors first? If I was a guard guarding a sewer hole, hey, you shut your mouth over there. Not be there. Just the, the body turned out. None of the items did. His clothes are still there. His weapons are still there. Oh, his body nice ash. What's there? What's what's in the uh, ash pile? Uh, roll investigation. Whoa. All right, I'm, I'm gonna check too because you know money. <laughs> Mike's, gonna get, Mike's gonna get a two. That's the second seven I got for investigation. <laughs> Mike's gonna get a two. Uh, Plus Zest, 18. you find his uh-huh. uh, coin purse containing about twenty gold pieces this time. Cyrus, uh, you find another pistol, another musket. Another fry grenade. I take the grenade. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you also find a um, a list of orders. Mm. The orders pretty much state the uh, the uh, the creatures. Uh, by the way, apparently they are GIF. These GIF are uh, GIF. These these GIF GIF. Depending, they fight at how they uh, des- describe themselves. Uh, have been hired by this scenario of if they've been hi- hired to guard this place, essentially to make sure no one comes in and no one leaves without the uh, the cleaners the cleaners being there. And they are to use uh, they are use use they are to use lethal force upon any uh, uh, unauthorized visitors. Uh, there are a grand total of six of them. Uh, we killed two. Two of them are to remain within this uh, basement at all times. The other four are guards for the cargo. Uh, so you're telling me I got the two doors with the motherfuckers in it? I mean, yeah. At the moment. Well, one, we had no choice. Yeah. This, yeah, that was just bad decision making on our part. Yeah. The second guy. Well, I guess I'll, I'll say my character read this out loud so that way Zest can hear. Sure. <clears throat> By the way, you are doing all this one handed. <laughs> Forgot you don't have control of the other one. So, Zest, are you taking that money or, uh, no? Go for it, the klepto. Woo! Taking the gold. <laughs> All right. Um, do you guys wish to explore the other doors now? How much was it, DJ? Thirty. Uh, grand total twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah, let's check these other doors. Okay. Uh, do you want to do right to left, left to right? Uh, I'll let you pick this time. Let's that- go the next door over. Okay. okay, we're going in order. You got it. You guys go here. I'll move you right here. And this one has a peephole. Hmm? I'm not going to stand in front of the door. Uh, okay, but this, this door has a peephole. Do you wish to look through the peephole? Hell no. Something tells me I'm not going to like what's looking back at me. 
No, I'm standing off to the side door. And try the keys. Sure. The uh, you find you. It takes you a second, but yeah, you find the correct key. You unlock it. I have my well. One's already in my hand. I can't let go of it now. Mm-hmm. But I'll grab the other one just in case I need to get it ready because I can't use my left arm. Okay. Mm-hmm. As, you, sure as you as you bring unjammed. divinity to bear, uh, your hand there's a pulse of pain. And almost, and you hear almost like a hiss. Only you hear this, uh, Cyrus. But uh, that omen also get, g- goes to the ready. Got it. <laughs> I can't control my arm anymore. DJ does. <laughs> so the door's unlocked. What do you do? Oh, well, it worked out great last time. Stand on each side door and fling it open. All right. As you fling it open, revealing a room, and upon a and upon a bed, co- holding a a very dirty blanket and a pillow in fr- in front of him is a gnome just staring at you. Wait, wait! Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! I'll pay! I'll pay! Question, DJ? Do we know the, if the guy we're looking for is a gnome? Or Looking what he for is for a female dwarf. That's what it was. Okay, female. Please, a uh, pay. Just, just don't hurt me, please. You're the only one in here. You, you, this is the only one you see. Yes, yes. I just, I, I, I just trying to get out. I, I, I look. I, I don't want any trouble. I just trying to get out of the city. Right. What do you do? Can I use a insight to see if he's telling the truth? Sure, go for it. So, okay, come on, low roll. He is absolutely terrified. You think you might smell the smell, the stench of urine coming from him? Did did you did you just pee yourself? <laughs> Please, I I have gold gems. Please. Please just leave. Let me live. Come here. Uh, (laughs) Why are you talking to him like he's a little kid? Come here. Hey. Come here. He hops down (laughs) and slowly approaches. Emphasis on the slowly. (laughs) So I can tell he's telling the truth, though, right? Yeah, he's telling the truth. All right. Please, Look, please. We're looking for somebody. You're not them. Don't worry, we're not going to hurt you. Yeah, I, I don't know who else is in here. I just, we have no please. interest in you. Well, you look, look, the next I, room I, over, I, however, I'll point over there. I I don't know. I don't know. We I don't know who else is here. Look, we we I there might be other people. I don't know. Not told anything. Stay for that way. Look. I just paid my money. I'm supposed to get out of here. I'm assuming they're going to smug you out. Or Either way, I'll point to the door over. There's a, a trap door over there that leads into the sewer. If oh no no no, I I I was told to wait. If if if, if I'm caught outside, I, I, no please please no please. He falls to his knees and puts his hands. Please just leave me be. Close the door, lock it, please. All right. Well, what do you Cyrus, do? close Anything? the door. I'm not gonna lock it. I'll close the door. You hear the gnome begin to cry in relief. I'll lock it. Okay. I was gonna say I can't lock it. <laughs> I got no keys. <laughs> uh, then with that, the room disappears once more. Oh, that was an interesting interaction. Next door. <laughs> you head over to the door. I assume you follow uh, Cyrus? Yeah. You, I, uh, at this point, we're committed. You attempt to walk, but your arm stays, and it's just pointing at the door. You it, you walk forward. At the one we were just at? 
Uh huh. He just walks forward, just points at the door. Did you keep? Did he keep walking? I mean, if it's pointing at the door, I didn't. Zest. Hmm. Now that I got uh, the keys in my hand, I'm about to unlock the door. Yeah. Unlock this door again, real quick, just out of All curiosity. I'm right. um, go ahead back and unlock that door. Is my arm still like pointing at it? And uh-huh. Open it. You open the door. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you see the gnome who was sitting there crying, look up confused and bad omen fires. I knew it. (laughs) Roll damage, please. Will do. Uh, Give me one second. Uh Uh-oh. You... Bad Omen fires and hits the gnome between the eyes as it looks up confused why the door opens again. It's his his brain goes going red across the across the uh, floor behind him before it turns to ash and its soul absorbs into Bad Omen. And you feel a pulse of pain. Take four points of psychic damage. God dang. I have a feeling it was going to fire no matter what. It wanted its target. Yeah. You're out of control, Cyrus. You're out of control. I'm not out of control. You're out of control. This whole courtroom's out of control. I'm insane. I hold you in contempt. Cyrus, we're in a Chuck E. Cheese. We're not in a courtroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the, the, guy, the guy in the mouse outfit is not the judge? Mm-hmm. Oh God! Here's a song. I'm not insane. I'm not insane. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> oh, God. If you're gonna sing it, at least be on. At least I'm be on the right be beat, man. Right back. I'm gonna go. P- right. go put the beans on. While you think <laughs> about the actions that you just committed, I gotta go put the beans on. I don't think he fell the arm. Holy shit! <laughs> Look, man. Oh, this is, this is out of character. I thought it was just like the gnome was going to fuck us over in the, in the end. Why you I was like, well, I, I was like maybe the gun knows something we don't. Poo! It knows what it wants. <laughs> it needs blood. <laughs> like it's a Chuck E. Cheese, man. <laughs> it's a Chuck E. Cheese. I just shot a child. <laughs> We're, we're not. We just wanted a dungeon. cheese pizza. <laughs> <laughs> we're not in a dungeon. We're in a Chuck E. Cheese, man. Uh, what? Uh. <laughs> 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 this is freaking animatronics. It's just that all thing is going to off. shoot me in the back, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, you're eventually gonna get shot in the back, dude. You're, I feel like <laughs> you're gonna lose a heart. You're, you're losing an arm. You're not going to die, but you're going to lose an arm. Because if these guys are fucking turning into, you know, Cocoa Pebbles, you're pretty sure you're going to get into Cocoa Pebbles. First of all, it's a uh, fucking... It's Nesquik. <laughs> Nesquik. <Yeah. laughs> it's Nesquik. <laughs> you're fucking next. <laughs> Chocolate milk. There's nothing I can do to that arm. There's nothing I can do to it either. You cut it off. <laughs> Hell no, fuck you. You cut your arm off. I, I, I'll I, be fine with that later down the road. But Yeah, no, have fun playing your fucking viola, bitch. I, here, here's the thing, though. I'm a robot. I don't need... Here's that. the other thing. Your shit is fucking, you know, not existing anymore. I don't need... Good luck finding fucking parts, bitch. I don't need... You, know, you obsolete tech. Hey... Hey, Demon Boy. Hey. How I didn't possess? do this. How fucking to possess you, fucking piece of shit. All right, kill him. Cyber <laughs> psycho. <laughs> yeah, you cyber psycho. Dude, that's exactly what's happening. <laughs> I'm turning into a fucking cyber psycho. Did I do that? Uh, See, this is what, what happened was you fired. You fired did I make over, this baby. mess? <laughs> you fired too many times. No, he got a natural one is what happened. But, but that's, but that's why. 
He's fired him so many times that this thing is now doing what it's supposed I to do. I didn't have a choice. I wanted to do more damage, and apparently my gun was just like, no, nah, fail. <laughs> <laughs> no, the <laughs> dice were. Fuck the <laughs> dice. Technically, you did do more damage. But you know what? <laughs> you, know what? you know what's the good thing out of this? Pie? Yes. Plenty oh. of pie. Content. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I can't control my actions. Zest purposely murdered that dude with a piece of apple. Fuck. Uh, you know what? I don't think that was that bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I'm going to get fucking shamed by murder spree fucking klepto guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not <laughs> See, funny. I have no control over my arm. You had control of what you were doing. Fuck you. you not yeah. intentional. You're All right, mister. You're I'm getting revenge on David. <laughs> <laughs> That's different. David no, piece of shit. Know, no, not, not even like, in the okay. slightest. David's piece of shit. Fuck like you. I feel like you're I the one who's over here. I'm the good boy. I pray to Bahamut every day. Yeah. I don't hurt the people. Yeah, you call me stupid. Yeah, I feel. Yeah, I feel like you. You pretty much. He bombed the town. You sure killed the, the town. <laughs> he bombed the town. Pretty sure you he did. Good, he's a good boy. He listens to his mama. You know. Yeah, I don't even know who his mama is. No, I don't know. Uh, I do know my mom. I was gonna say I don't know who my daddy is, but that's not true either. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, yes, for president. How are the beans? Uh, the beans are on. The uh, the chicken is chicken. Uh, if you wish to search the remains of the gnome, or the room for that matter. Oh, well, first, I'm gonna go. What the hell, man? I didn't do it. So then what the hell, man? Just as much as the dark as you are. I, I have no fucking clue what's going on with this thing. By the way, your your uh your hand that you were holding uh bad omen with is just at at at, at the side of your uh, body. Still can't feel it. So the arm does a bounce down, or it's at ease. Uh, yes, I'm. I'm so conflicted right now. I don't know. I might as well check the room over here. Well, sure. I mean, he did. He did turn into a chocolate milk mix. So, roll investigation. <laughs> Ten, okay. Six. Uh, I do not want to get an investigation. Uh, Zest, you're um, you walk in and you just your eyes focus on the pile of ash that was the gnome, and you you just get too distracted by that. Cyrus, you look around. Uh, the gnome doesn't have anything on him. However, in the back chest, you find a sack of gems worth, with your very rough guesstimate, probably 500 gold pieces, as well as uh, another sack, as, a, as well as a small chest of uh, gold coin. Well, he's not going to need this. So, uh, is someone like rocking on a rocking chair? Or, like, what's going on? That's me. Oh, <laughs> as he sits there contemplating his next demonic move, the DM sits waiting willingly, <laughs> patiently. <laughs> so, uh, just add a chest of gold and a um, and a sack of gems worth five hundred, roughly five hundred gold. So, do I just add five hundred gold to my thing, or hold up? You don't know exactly how much it's worth. Oh, okay. It's worth at least five hundred gold. So, do I have to do custom for that? Yeah, just just put put in, in, in it as a note, and you'll once you sit down and go through it later, then you can figure out exactly how much it is, or okay. you can sell it. <laughs> uh, so, let's see. you said it was a sack of gems. Sack of gemstones, yes. He said, 
roughly around. Or just I'll just put a stack of gems. I, I I assume that you're gonna just tell me the amount later if I try yeah. to sell it. Yep, exactly. So, um, do you guys wish to go check out the next door? Give it a. Yeah. I might, not, to, I might have to the restart my thing because it just completely went blank on me. Oh, no. That's not good. If you like, I can uh, add it for you. There you go. It's back. Okay. It, yeah, it is just glitching out. It would not let me add a custom item. Uh, just go to inventory and uh, other possessions. Right here. Uh, it's, it, uh, I dropped the thing. It's working now. All right, there you go. So add it's, I, I, it's added. Oh. And you say it was a sack of coin too? Uh, chest of coin. Chest, chest of, of gold. gold. Shit. Uh, did we add two sacks of gems? <laughs> Maybe. I I'll fix that later. Let's just go on. Okay. Uh, you're at the next door. What do you do? Think shock on it? No. Do you, what? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm like, think you should knock on it? Me? What? No, it's not us. Well, there is a peephole if you want to look. I'll look this time. Sure. Within the peephole, you see... You see a elf, an uh, elderly elf sitting on the bed, just glaring at the door. Well then, if you've come to kill me, kill me. I won't beg. Do we know the person we're looking for, like their name? No, but you're looking nope. for a dwarf. What about the next door? Is there people in that one? Elf. Wasn't it an elf? No, it was a dwarf. I don't remember shit. So do you just wish to go to the next room? Yeah. Um, is there a people on it? Yep, now there's another people. Uh -huh. A gander in there, I guess. Okay. You take another peek hole through the... Through the... Uh, through the uh, hole, and you see a dwarven... A uh, uh, lady... A dwarven woman... Sitting on the uh, sitting on the bed with stack with a uh, suitcase and uh, binder next to her, just looking scared. This would be the uh, from the description you were given, and from uh, and from uh, everything else, you would know that this is the person you're looking for. All right. Um... Zest, you go in. I don't yeah, trust Yeah, I was going to say, you you don't go in. You go like... I, I'm going to sit here and try to figure this out real quick. All right. You step back. Uh, roll me a uh, religion check. Me? Yeah. Uh, da, da, da. Religion. Um, <laughs> the dark influences that powered Bad Omen have... Decided, as far as you can tell, decided that you have not been doing enough, and it's decided to take matters into its own. Bullshit! I've been form. doing a lot with that thing. <laughs> greedy bastards. Um, <laughs> however, you do remember that it reacted very negatively to divinity. So maybe if you put one and two together, maybe three will happen. Anyways, uh, Zest, you uh, you get in front of the door. What are you what are you doing? Stand off to the side and unlock it. Alright, it's unlocked. You we'll hear... take deep breath and hopefully there's nobody in this in the room and fling the door open. The door opens. 
I got a uh, the master oh, piece ready. <laughs> Unjammed it. The uh, there's only the dwarf in here, and she is whimpering. By chance, are you a Bucky? I say from the other side of the room. Wait, wait, wait! You you don't want to do this. Look, if you let me go, I, uh, I, I have knowledge. I can give you, I can give you, uh, I can give you where he keeps the stash before he he hides it away. Just let me go. Bucky, you you the Bucky? Look, I know he's he sent you for me, but just look, he's not a good man. That f- he that, that man who sent you after me is not a good man. Go on. He, uh, uh, she, he, he takes advantage of the poor. That's, that's why his casino's right there next to the slums. He, he, uh, uh, he, he manipulates their emotions, getting them to want to give him his money for that, that chance to make it rich and get out of the dirt hovels that those, those people are in. Or chances you got information on the dude that runs this place? This place? Well, not this. The like talking about like the town in general. Oh, you mean Walsh? Uh, yeah. Uh, what, what do you want to know? I I know some stuff. If if that's yeah. what's if that'll get me that get you to leave. So what? They're smuggling you out? I'm guessing. That's that's what I that's what I pay for. Yes. Do uh, you got his books at least? She she grips the binder to her chest. No, I I need this. This is this is my way. This is my way to to get back into the game. Into the game, lady. I I ain't just walking away from this and making nothing out of it. I'm gonna go someplace nice, maybe uh, maybe uh, maybe the capital or or I don't know, someplace nicer than this, Elysium or uh, whatever. I'm gonna make a nice name for myself, and I'm gonna make some money, and I'm gonna live comfortably. I need he sent that. two of us to find you, and we did that relatively easy. You think he's not going to continue it? Roll intimidation. <laughs> Where is my intimidation? By the way, while um, the more uh, the dwarf woman begs, more bad omen reacts. She be the bad omen. Is- say- so, well, I was waiting for him to do his shtick. I was, well, I was gonna say. In the meantime, you know, obviously, I, I was piecing two to two together. I, while he's talking to her, I grabbed the Vinny. I see what happens when I place it onto my arm. Um. Okay. You, as you pull out divinity, and the dwarven woman begins to begging, causing the reaction from Bad Omen. Uh, there, you feel it. You feel like trying to put two magnets against each other forcing each other back but you eventually are able to put the barrel of divinity on your arm and you get a striking pain up and down your arm take and you and you uh and you heal three points of you heal three points as the black veins just recede down to before the point of divinity's barrel. <laughs> as he's talking, holy shit, that smarts. <laughs> but you are healing. Even though it hurts, you are healing. It still hurts. <laughs> yeah. So what do you do? Like, is it, can I move my arm again? Or is it still... You can, uh, where did you put Divinity's Barrel? 
Well, I put it to higher up, like by my, uh, I guess my bicep. Sure. Then, I don't know how high the fucking then, blackness went up. Oh, it went up all the way to your neck. But if oh, you put it okay, your, that got pretty fucking far. Yes, you did. <laughs> Uh, however, if you put it to your bicep, you can now have control over your shoulder. That's it. So I can't, can, can I try to slowly keep moving it down? Sure. Uh, but I'm going to need you to roll me a constitution check. Oh boy. Just a flat constitution or? Uh, constitution saving throw. Oh, by the way, roll your intimidation, um, zest. Oh, oh yeah. Well, in some, so sure. I was waiting. Yeah, it's yep. fighting me. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can't get it to, to the elbow. It, it's it's not letting you go right now. 18, uh, you see the uh, dwarven woman whimper and jump from the screams of uh, Cyrus, but I need this. Is your life really worth it? You tell him I'm dead. That doesn't really help me. I'll give you. Still need the book. Yeah, I'll give you the books. Just tell him. I'm I'll dead. tell him you that. I'll tell him whatever you want me to. She gets up, walks over to you, and will hand you the copy of the books. And hey, uh, sire, give me that. Like a little busy. Roll another con save. Here comes that one. Well, that works. You grit your teeth and you run Divinity's Barrel all the way down your arm to, to, to your fingertips, causing you to drop Bad Omen. And you heal... Uh, you heal six points of... Uh, you heal six points... As you nearly fall unconscious from the pain, but uh, divinity has dro has pulled whatever spirit that controls bad omen away from you. Well, note to self: do not roll ones with that. <laughs> Well, uh, I'm, I'm gonna pick it back up, but I have divinity still oh, no. like touching my arm. The smoke is gone. You pick okay. it up. It's just, it's still cold to the touch. It's just back how how it used to be. But it's just back how how it usually is. Okay. Yes. <sighs> okay. Zest, I'm coming in. I, I think I got control of it again. Oh, uh, the the dwarven woman is like right at the door. Oh, I thought they were still in there talking. No, no. She, uh, I don't think he ever went in. The dwarf came to came to came over. Ah. That's that's the one hand. we're looking for, right? No answer. Okay. Zess. Hmm. Yeah, she's the one. Give her the bag of gems. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll keep the chest. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, just walk out the bag. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and get rid of the bag. All right, sure. Uh, she takes the bag of gems and looks very confused. You, I don't you... know how it's. I, it's worth quite a sum. Hopefully, it's enough to get you on your get face. you started. I guess. Fucking, what's going on? What am I missing? The dude we that hired us is kind of a scumbag, so I'm gonna have to remedy that in the future. Fuck another one. Yeah, apparently this whole town is full of scumbags. She didn't get kidnapped or stolen. She's getting smuggled out of her own will. Wait, wait. So the guys we fought were helping her. I wouldn't. I I don't know about that. Uh, I I did hire them. Yes. For a considerable sum, I'll admit, but... Uh... Well... Okay. If it makes you uh, feel... You might want to, you know... If, if which way it, are you going out through? Uh, I don't know. I don't I think, think she knows, yeah. 
I don't know. If it makes you feel better, uh, this company isn't the Shining Boy Scouts either. It's okay. I feel less bad. <laughs> yeah, don't feel too bad about it. It. Um, but so, yeah. is she trying to leave the city now? Uh, technically, yes, she is leaving. Trying, attempt, she hired this this group to smuggle her out of the city. Uh, Zest, by any chance, no. you think that old bag in the cell behind me is in the same situation? Possibly. That's what the, that's what I'm getting from this. They're all here to get smuggled out. Can we help them get smuggled out, DJ? If you want to. Okay. Well, Brent, we're going on an adventure. <laughs> Where rude do we even possibly begin with that? We'll find out. Unless uh, you want to go grab the other two. And then I guess, they, I guess, you know, the two big ones. Uh, I, I will say this. Uh, I don't know when they're coming. But... I have already paid. I, I have nothing to pay you with, and I, I I'm not, not doing this for money. Oh, well, okay. But well, I still haven't. I still paid my very hefty sum to be smuggled out. I mean, if I'm not getting my services, then I you, mean, you, you yeah, it's kind money. of a moot point for us to take over something that's already happening. This it's not like they're they're smuggling her out for ill intent. She paid for. True. So, okay. do we just lock her back in then? Please, that's actually... we got what we came for. True. And he, just... he won't come after us. We'll tell him she died in the ordeal that went down here. Well, we're not going to tell him where we found her. Well, so honestly, we won't tell him that. Please don't. I was like, but we were able to get the books back. Yeah, there's some warehouses in this place, right, DJ? Like, oh, yeah. In this town? There's warehouses. Yeah, we'll just tell them we were in a warehouse. We can't tell them which one. We're new to the town. It doesn't matter. They're all warehouses to us. All right. I guess we'll lock her back up. Yeah, we, we, gave, we gave you a bag of gems. Hopefully that's some help. And she disappears from view as you close and lock the door. Then I say we just get the hell out of here then. All right. Yeah, you guys can make your way back out pretty easily, honestly. I'm just going to... Uh... And remember, you never saw us. Saw who? Exactly. Uh, but yeah, you are. you can make your way back into the shop pretty quickly and easily. Um, you hear someone struggling up upstairs, uh, with muffled cries, but, uh, you are back in the shop. What do you guys do? I think we should let him out. Can you put him to sleep before we untie him? Well, there's a chance he may go to sleep. It's not a guaranteed thing. Uh, uh can you know, you want to roll them dice? We could just untie them and leave. They won't know we were here. Oh. And you get your rope back. I can always buy a new rope. They are going to know that people were here. The gnome yeah, is well, gone. Well, and there are two dead guards. People are going to know that something went down. And we're literally the only two suspects, so neither. Well, he didn't see us, so how would he know it was us? True. Well, regardless, we're the last two people he saw. Yes, but as well, I'm not going to say anything. Even if you don't think we're the ones who did it, if he tells whoever, the authorities, friends, we're we're going to get investigated. We're the last two people he's. What are you suggesting we do then? We 
for the most part, I think we could probably lie. So we we're in the store. We just Some dudes came in and told us to get the fuck out. We did because you know we're pansies. <laughs> Not, well, that, but I was like, you know, I say we rough up. We could rough up the store a bit. There was a scuffle, and we ran them off. Either or. But how are you going to explain the dead bodies and the? We don't have to. I that guess. or, you know, we just put a dagger in his hand and we hightail out of here and he cut himself free. Hmm. Roll Arcana. Or do you you and uh, your, your smoke gun over there want to, you know, do what you did to the gnome? I did. I had no control over that. Somebody roll me Arcana. Oh, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Go on. This is not good. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, we could just leave him there. Somebody's going to find him. This type of operation with smuggling, somebody's coming into the store True. that he knows. You know what? Let's just leave. <laughs> All right, you just leaving? Yeah, I'm gonna close it, or we're gonna close that passage way back up. Okay. And then we're gonna just uh, can we see if there's anyone by the door? Uh, real perception. Shit, I can't just look out the window. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that is rolling perception to look out the window. Wow, dice, really? Um, you don't see anyone. You're not even sure that there's an outside anymore. Fuck. <laughs> so why was I the only one who rolled Arcana? Brent, why didn't you do it? <laughs> you said somebody and you beat me to it. Oh, it could have been both. <laughs> you could sense magic too, you fucker. But apparently yeah, I'm still freaking somebody. out about my fucking phantom spank. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, um, you can leave if you so wish. The question is, do you want to go out the way we came, or do we... Do we go and do the dookie, the dookie door? <laughs> the dookie door. My instincts tells me the dookie door will be safer. <laughs> oh, God. Damn <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm gonna take the the, 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 the door. All right, so you guys are going back downstairs and going through the sewer. Yeah, we're going through the dookie door. <laughs> All right. Best episode title ever. <laughs> You're right. This is gonna back be to the uh, dookie door. This is gonna be the name of of it. Yes, the dookie door. <laughs> <laughs> the dookie door. <laughs> um, yeah, sure, not a problem. You uh, a problem. you head downstairs <laughs> it's a big and problem. down through the uh, the into the sewer. The smell is horrendous. Oh, so on the way, I picked up my coin that I flicked into the room. Sure. By the way, uh, <laughs> yeah, DNA, got it. <laughs> yeah, we all begin, back in here. You begin walking down. You begin walking downstream with uh, sludge and the goo that is the sewer. Uh, I'm going to have to burn my boots. <laughs> I don't think we wear boots. <laughs> you, um... Can you guys hear me? Hello! Yes, we can hear you. Pants. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I, I have a microphone in my computer now, so I can do it for my computer. Oh, nice. Anyways, um, you guys, roll me a survival check. Someone. Oh, boy. We're going to get dookie death. <laughs> dookie death. 11. 
Okay. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I thought that was a one. <laughs> it it's kind of hard to see the numbers on it, huh? <laughs> it doesn't take a small amount of time, but within about two hours of going downstream along with along with the city sewage, you reach a um, ladder that goes up. Go, I, I assume it goes to a manhole cover. It goes to a cover, yeah, a door, a trap door, but yeah. What do you say, Zess? Do we try lock? to go up? Do we go up this ladder, or we keep going through the tunnel? Of death? Is there any way to keep going, or oh, you can keep going if way? you want. There's been a multiple of tunnels that you've passed, but with your survival check you decide maybe it's not the best idea to go exploring tunnels in a, in a sewer maze at the moment. So you've just gone downstream until you found this, uh, this door, this, uh, ladder. And leave, like trap door trapped or something, not no. trapped, but locked. No, it, it goes up. Uh, as you approach, you do hear something. But you're not one percent sure what it is. It's it sounds familiar, but you're not one percent sure what it is. Do you I do assume you went up the ladder before me. <laughs> yeah. So while we like, while like, God, I want to like push it open to see if I hear whatever it is clearly, but like crack it open, I should say. As you are debating this, the door pulls open and Fyodor dumps a bucket of dirty mop water down into the sewer. It sounds like my God. <laughs> That That's just gross. With the sounds you were hearing was the sounds of the tavern uh, patriots just carousing. Fyodor, you look down into the the uh, trap door that you've been dumping buckets of dirty water into all day to see two very disgusting looking, very familiar dragonborn looking back up at you. Hey, how's it going? Uh, we need a shower. Bad. Uh, Carol. <laughs> Carol. <laughs> I like, I, like actually recognize them, or, or yeah, you like, recognize them. No shit. It's not like we fucking changed form. No, so you just pull the shit. <laughs> what are you guys doing in the in the hole? Why are you eating that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys, yeah, while you guys do this RP. I'm gonna be right back. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, going to time out with a very sad dragon face. <laughs> uh, so you two didn't go too far. <laughs> um, good news, we have stuff to get paid. Uh, bad news, we smell like dead bodies. Well, Worse. Should come up here and uh, wash up. In fact, we just finished cleaning. Can you help us get up? <laughs> I guess uh, yeah, I'll do it. We <laughs> may or may not have some despicable people looking out for us in the near future. Granted, that doesn't change because we have that going for us now, but uh, I'm giving you a heads up. There, there's going to be more people we're going to have to take down. Possibly. Likely not as powerful, but that we know of. Still, still uh, good, good. More uh, material for me. And uh, how do you feel about hunting? Uh, fuck, what is that thing called again? Manticore. Uh, man, how do you feel about hunting right. a manticore, big guy? I don't have this call yet. I'm down. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and mosey on over to the shower because, uh, fuck everything right now. Yeah, no problem. Do they have a bathhouse? 
Yeah, yeah they have bounce houses. We afford walks in. Walks in. Luckily, everything so smells like clean. Bucks. Not dealing with you right now, Leopold. Whew. What were you guys doing all day? <laughs> I walk past them. I'm going straight to the shower. <laughs> Was it something else? Like on your right. We try to do some good, which wasn't good. Well, Did you climb it wasn't all bad. Butt? Essentially. Can I be wearing like an apron that doesn't fit me? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Can I, I just want to put this in the visual. I have a very, so. a very important question. Are you wearing yes. just the apron? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> just the apron and boxer. There we go. Okay. Noted. Why are you naked? <laughs> he said to more relaxed. his clothes right? clean. The dirty. While he cleaned. <laughs> Well, I'm not there at the moment. That that yeah. didn't even phase me. The fact that also, this girl was naked in front of me was like, I just, I need to go shower. Get cleaned up. Yeah, no Oof. problem. You guys can go and Dude. bathe and get it scrubbed out. Can this count as a short rest for us, DJ? Yeah, that's not a problem. And possibly burn my equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Is that for all of us? Or? I mean, we're the ones kind of resting at the moment. <laughs> We, I mean, we we just finished, so I mean, we just go. We could just go upstairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Change back into everything. So I guess. <laughs> yeah, you don't, we, you don't really need a short rest. Well, I took some some uh, HP damage from you know falling off. You should have been healed by like. So the... I should be healed by the <laughs> dude. We took yeah, because that was the night before. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then uh. Me and Cyrus, if y'all want to come along, you're welcome to, but we got to go deliver a book. Okay, sure. Um, Is the book still okay, DJ? Oh, the book's fine. Okay. I was like, the fact that Fjordor fucked up the book would have pissed me off. No, it, <laughs> no, um, uh, Zess was one carrying the book, and he was technically at the bottom of the stairs. You were the one who climbed up to open it. No, he's the one who climbed up and opened it. Oh, well, in any case, it, it, the book's fine. Okay, cool. cool. He's looking at the, the full like frontal the assault. Nice. <laughs> the, 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 the fucking trail of the dookie door, man. <laughs> this smell is... I was like, fuck, what's the name of that movie yeah. where he escapes from prison? Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's exactly uh, what just happened. I was like... Someone tells me we're about to pull a Shawshank right now. Fucked it. I was like, because when DJ made me roll an Arcana check, I was like, it's not, something's outside that door. <laughs> Fuck Batman. you. It's Batman. The Batman in Arkham Asylum. <laughs> oh, that was a fucking part of the game, huh? <laughs> yeah. Get ready. Get ready for the green mile. But yes, um, after you rest up and take a short rest, you can uh, you can go see the uh, the casino guy. The casino guy. Also, one second, I just want to double check something. Something smells funky. Yeah, it's two dragonborns. No, I just want to make sure the beans are boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's a little it's bit much. Scale back. Me, uh... <laughs> First of all. It's a scale neck and a scale back. <laughs> scale neck. God damn it. <laughs> that sounds worse. <laughs> <laughs> We've been saying this for I don't know how many like sessions, dude. It's been a few. It's been like a month. Y'all sound the same. <laughs> okay. God damn. Wow. Anyway. Actually, it's been longer than a month. Anyways, you, uh, you, you go back to the casino? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Fyodor Leopold, are you going with? Yeah. Okay. I want to go. He's dead. Oh. I'm pretty sure he was clowning the entire time about our stink, and none of us was couldn't hear him. <laughs> that man makes no, sense. He's dead. Either way, we're going. All right. I'm just gonna wait for Christian to pop back. We're just gonna assume he's with us, and if he comes back and says no, then he just just wasn't there. Okay. <laughs> You guys walk back down to the uh, the edge of the slums where you uh, know the uh, 
casino to be. The uh, bouncer on the outside uh, takes one look at the two of you and looks at your uh, compatriots before before nodding and leading you guys into a back VIP room. Oh, this is different. Oh, just a couple of zips here, huh? You, uh, you, uh, you are there for a few minutes, uh, not too long, uh, before the owner of the, uh, casino enters. Welcome, welcome. I, uh, I see you brought some of your friends. I, uh, I hope you've come with good news. I seriously hope. Oh, yeah. Hope. Our buddies here, and they were busy when we originally came, but. And That's neither here or there. Correct. Neither here nor there. As long as you uh, brought me my uh, good news. Uh, uh, I'm digging through my stuff. Oh, here it is. Now pull out the book. Ah, uh, he would reach over and take it and quickly flip through it. Good, good. You didn't look at this, now, did you? No, no. We're kind of far too busy to be doing that. Good. Now then, your reward. Yeah. Snaps his fingers twice, and uh, a uh, one of the bouncers comes in with a chest. Now you can take a monetary reward, or snaps his fingers twice, and several scantily robed uh, individuals enter, holding other chests. Or you can go with option B. It's up to you. Do you wish to? Uh, Option B could be anything. It could be a chest full of gold, a magic item. <laughs> He's gonna hit us with the mystery box. It could, be, it could even be a boat. You know how you how much how much we want one of those? <laughs> Not the mystery box. <laughs> like, the boat's a boat, but the mystery box could be anything. It could even be a boat. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you know what? Zest, if it's cool with you, I think I'll go with the first option. I don't feel like gambling right now. You feel like gambling, don't you? <laughs> I'm just here for moral support and, and support. Ah, uh, well, considering how your compatriot died while we're doing all this, I think we'll take the monetary value as well. Ah, well. Yeah. To be fair, it's always going it. for a sh the sure the sure bet is the uh, reason why I'm in my position. The uh, bouncer would uh, place the chest down and would open it. The chest is a really nice sized chest. It's about a uh, foot tall by a foot and a half wide by about two feet long. And he opens it and it is filled to the brim with platinum. Oh, what is the chest made of? The chest it's is made, made out of marble. <laughs> the chest is made out of dark oak with platinum banding all around it. Cool. The chest, of course, is sense. yours to keep. And uh, the uh, the scantily clad individuals would put down the other chest, which he would open just to show you that it was filled with several magical items before he closes it and, and hands it to the bouncer. Hmm. Perhaps next time. The... Uh, the people here, and he would gesture to the scantily-clad individuals, will handle your ever need. You are more than welcome to stay for the evening, if you so wish. Enjoy yourselves, relax. Welcome and enjoy. And so with that, he would turn and le leave with his bodyguards and the uh, and the uh, uh, let's face it, they're strippers. <laughs> would come in and begin asking the the lot of you if you need anything or want anything or desire anything for that is why they are there for tonight. I was there for the money. So how much platinum are we getting out of this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys have gained one thousand two hundred fifty platinum. You don't make me do math. <laughs> that is twelve thousand five hundred gold pieces. Money, 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 money. <laughs> For which you can divide up as you see fit. Yeah, I was like, well, Zest, uh, you gain 625 of that. I'm getting 625. 
Can I just have the chest? Sure. Damn it. Well, oh, it's up to them. <laughs> All right, keep it. Well, fair enough. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, Whoever, we, we you, you, guys, you know what? You two rock, paper, scissors for the chest. All right. <laughs> All right. One. Are we two, rolling for this? <laughs> some 625. Oh, All right. We roll for it. Yeah, high roll. Yeah, high roll. Get the test. Cut some D20 high roll. There you go. There you go. Hold on. I, I got to get back to my character. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I think you won. How what do you get? An eight? You got a seven. Seven. Oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, like every, everything like kicked me everything like kicked me out earlier. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. D D twenty. Alright. D twenty sauce roll. Six hundred and sixty three <laughs> platinum. I got a four. Oh, oh my god, god. Wow. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Congratulations, Fyodor. You get the You chest. got a chest. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, well. This is mine. I'm going to put my skulls in here. Hey, hey it's, it's, it's what it is. <laughs> but, if fair, you want fair, me fair. to, you know, you have to put your valuables in here. No, no, no. It was, it's a fair roll. He's like, you son of a bitch. I hate you more now. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> uh. Well, if you add a extravagant chest to your inventory. All right. Um, but yes, the night is, you can spend the night there if you so wish. You could just leave if that's also what you wish. I have no plans on staying there. All right. <laughs> There's just more surveillance on us that they will get. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> um. But yes, you guys can leave uh, if you wish. No one's no one's forcing you to stay. But uh, uh, but what are you guys doing now? Well, we got we got money now. Who's we? <laughs> Me and Brent have money. I got a chest. <laughs> yeah, you got an empty chest. I got <laughs> nothing from it. I just wanted a chest. <laughs> Good wood, man. Some people are just happy with the simple things in life, like leave them alone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys have yeah. money. Well, most of you have money. <laughs> Two of us have money. You know, the stinky dragons. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> after, that, after, after that fiasco, <laughs> me and Brad were probably just like, we ain't sharing any of this. <laughs> are, you, are you supposed to talk to somebody about the manticore thing? Oh, right. Uh, yeah, the uh, for the manticore... You can talk to the um, the uh, you can go to a go to the uh, uh, go to the guard barracks. Speak to the head of the guards about it. Yeah, so we'll just we'll thank them kindly for their services and for the pay. And we're just gonna just not stay there and leave. <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> so to the barracks. <laughs> So Leopold, well, just, we'll talk to oh, you. Know, how do you we'll ask y'all if y'all want to do it first? How do you how do you feel about hunting a manticore? We already got a Fyodor on board. Sure, sounds like a good thing. I'll give you Guarantee, one. You, you'll, you'll get something out of this one this time. I'll give you one of his wings. <laughs> you guys, all right. As you guys leave the casino, um, obviously no one stops you. They, you uh, head up to uh, the guard barracks and you speak to the head of the uh, Fire Rock Guard. He is a uh, he's a human, older, maybe fifties or sixties, uh, built like a truck. Uh, he might he almost puts Fjordor to shame with how jacked he is. God almost. damn! <laughs> God damn! <laughs> And I'm a then, jerk, and everybody and loves me. And he, and he can't get rid of the manacore? That's already scary enough. And uh, next to him is a elf. Sniveling. Uh, not really sniveling, but very haughty. Very, I'm better than you. Very elf. hoity-toity? Very hoity-toity. Um, so, you lots are the ones looking for, to hunt the manticore for us. That we are. Yes. 
I very much appreciate it. Uh, this, as you may or may not know, the man this Manticore has been giving us issues on the trail, on the uh, trails to the mines to the west. It ha must have a layer nearby, and it's been interrupting fl flows of precious metals and stones. We need it handled immediately. We will give it our Bahamut's best. A man of religion, I respect that. Now, unfortunately, our coffers are a little bit thin at the moment, so we cannot offer much in regards of a monetary bounty. However, if I can, par if we can perhaps be of assistance in some other way, we do not, if nothing else, I can perhaps offer a favor of the guards to if you ever get into sort of trouble we may look away once or if you need us yeah. need a uh audience with somebody we can possibly arrange it deal i like favors <laughs> okay honestly you're the first group of ventures who did not balk at this at the sound of well no coin <laughs> it's honestly refreshing Honestly, I just want the skull. <laughs> yeah, he's more or less just here for the hunt, really. Uh, oh, very well. <laughs> In any case, uh, he would point out on the map to a. Uh, if you, I'll I'll pull up the uh, I'll pull up the map one more to the uh, the map real quick. It should be under pins. Yeah, if you look at the uh, if you look at the map. Uh, he would point out the section where the where the road kind of becomes a Y, to one one section going to the mine, one section going up, and one section going to uh, Fire Rock. He said he would say that most of the attacks have been happening in that in that junction right there, so he would assume that'd be the best place to uh, begin searching for the layer. It's about a day's travel to uh, that 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 section on a on a horse. Got like a small cart, something that could fit like three people in it. Uh, he would look to the elf who. It looks like he's polishing his fingernails. And what are you looking at me for? Ask one of your imbecile employees. You are under my command now. Now get to work. Find them a cart. Eh. So annoying. But the elf does reluctantly go and will and requisitions you a cart. Yeah, just you know, need something small. My apologies for my lieutenant. Very he uh, tired of that one, huh? I'm I'm sorry. He doesn't like to take orders, does he? No. The only reason he is a lieutenant is because his father is a very high-ranking noble in the capital. But yeah, it turns out baby. even even his father's connections can't keep him safe now that he's enlisted. He made a few mistakes, upset an officer, and now he was sent north. And he has been insufferable ever since. I do believe I must rectify this issue before it gets worse. But, well, he's been here about a week and he's just... Mm. In any case. Yeah. We could rough him up for you. No. No, 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 no. Okay. You know, offers on the table. No. This it has to be done appropriately. He is, Generally. after all, a soldier of the Empire. And if you did assault him, well, no amount of favors would keep you from the uh, long arm of the law. Noted. However, I do wish you good luck. Do you need any intel? 
Has well, anybody we, attempted this before us? We've attempted, our guards have attempted to increase patrols, and that seems to have slowed down the attacks, but it has a couple of our patrols have gone out and not returned. Gotcha. Uh, does it does it have a time of day where it attacks the most? It almost always attacks at night, usually attacking caravans that are coming in as they are parked parked for the night. Oh, All right. right. That helps. Right around dusk, actually, yes. Okay. All right, well, Take now we know what to look for. Is there anything else I can be of assistance with? Mm, is there anything it's weak to? <laughs> you have noticed? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have that no- that knowledge with me. If I can... Uh, here, let me check my notes on the... Uh, he would go through his notes. Not really, unfortunately. However, I do have note that it has a range t- tail spike attack, and the tail spikes do regrow relatively quickly. So I would be wary of that. Yeah, all right. Ciao for his tail. Okay. All right. Well, but, well thank you kindly for the information. We're going to. He said just the Stock spikes up. grow quickly, right? Yeah, the tail spikes. Stock up on some supplies, then we'll head out. We'll go Monster Hunter, this bitch. And hopefully, uh, we come back successful. I pray for your rapid return. Maybe or if we come back. With you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do not wish for you to die. If the creature do we. <laughs> too much, flee. There's no shame in retreat. Got it. That's not in my right. nature, but I guess we'll wait for our little cart. Uh, the cart would uh, would would arrive, uh, being hauled forward by six other guards. The elf just lazing about on on the on the chair. Your cart, peasants. Thanks, well, Jeffrey. You didn't ex- you what? You expecting something else? No. Have the no, we asked for a, we asked no, for a car. Said. What more were we expecting? Exactly. It's good to know that the peasants know their place. Yeah, that's why you're down here with us now. Thanks, Jeffrey. He, his face shifts to one of barely disguised hatred. I get As that he, a lot. <laughs> as he hops off and just walks away. I hope the monster eats you alive. He'll come after you next. <laughs> we be dead. <laughs> the elf um, just walks away. <laughs> the, other, the, the other guards who were carrying the cart just scowls and one of them brings a, uh, a horse like, here. This is, you'll need this, and I do apologize for the lieutenant. He is. Yeah, we got the rundown from your boss. We understand. Yeah, we're used to people like that. The guard would not, and from inside you hear, you did what? Before, before that, that's all you hear. Hmm. That doesn't sound good. So you have yourselves a car. You have yourselves a horse. I think that's a good place to leave off for now. Fortunately, I don't think we'll be able to pick this up next weekend since, you know, you're going to need kind of all four of you for next weekend. Uh, but <laughs> we'll put Le- Leopold on autopilot. Uh, we, <laughs> yeah, uh, it, <laughs> or would you be like, okay with that? Because uh, watch I, me play music, guys. <laughs> <laughs> play it's just that on loop. <laughs> Playing the same song. We're coming up. <laughs> I know the same song. <laughs> I I'm completely fine with that. Um, I will be. I mean, 
honestly, depending, like, if we even get up early to do anything at, uh, like, because the convention's three, I think it's convention Saturday, Sunday. Mm-hmm. I don't know if we're going to go, like, early in the morning. So, okay. if if that's the case, like, if we don't go early in the morning, like, at, if we don't go at eight, I can do two hours straight of the, ca- like, of stuff. So, I mean. Okay. And so, man, it's, it's just a side quest. It shouldn't take that long. Yeah. All right. Cool. Then we will pick this up next time, and I hope everyone had fun. Yeah. Goodbye, boots. Brent, I might kill you without knowing. (laughs)